my friends, good to see you back here. Today we will do another very delicious pasta dish. Have a look. Farfalle pasta with tuna, peas and a nice spicy tomato soup. Wow. And you got it right. Butterfly meets tuna. Farfalle al tonno e piselli. So um, let's have a look what we need. Come closer please, come closer. So uh, as you see, we are using lots of canned uh, ingredients and that's not necessarily a bad thing if you use quality stuff. So we got here our polpa. With this polpa we will do our standard uh, um, um, sugo, sugo al pomodoro. And the only difference will be that we will add a little bit of tuna at the end and before a little bit of um, peas. Standard, uh, standard spices, salt, black pepper, a little bit of sugar and before we add this we will uh, start frying in um, quality olive oil, a uh, little bit of garlic and uh, onion. By the way this onion is homegrown. Uh, I used it yesterday but as you know I hate throwing away um, food so I just need a little bit of it, a few slices. I will take them from this and uh, we will also fry a little um, sage leaf from my garden and at the end we also got a few coriander leaves also from my garden of course and so we will prepare the sauce with it we will add a shot of white wine and finally we will cook farfalle which uh, translated means butterflies and guess why it's called butterflies or farfalle it's the shape of this pasta and you will see it will be very very delicious Okay, first step is we will heat up uh, olive oil on medium flame. So I got this uh, quality brand. It's one of the good brands, but as you know in Italy you find many good brands as long as it's all made in Italy. So I will take a little bit of this, um, of this onion, not too much, perhaps uh, this amount. I will cut it in smaller pieces. Go, just make sure you don't hit your fingers, that will hurt. And um, we will add those. I will also add uh, this uh, sage leaf from my garden. I will cut it in uh, smaller pieces like this. And we will fry the sage leaf as well. By the way, I forgot to mention chili is not a must, it's optional. Uh, I like it slightly spicy, so I will add a few slices of it. And if it gets too spicy, I will add just a little bit more sugar and so you won't feel the spicy um, chili taste. Okay, I will cut also these um, garlic slices. Let me just remove the skin. It's always different when the camera is following you. So you sometimes don't make it um, perfect. Yeah, I think we are there. I cut the garlic also very, very thin so we don't really feel it or don't bite on it but we got all the nice flavors of it inside in our sugo and so that is the first step we wait until it starts frying and then we we'll move over to the next step okay so you see um, the onions the garlic started frying so now is the time to add a little bit of these um, peas of course you are welcome to use um, fresh peas fresh ingredients I only want to show you what you can do even with quality canned ingredients. Even with that you can cook nice tasty uh, dishes. Next step we will also add these um, canned um, tomatoes from one of my preferred brands. And uh, this will now have to cook for about I would say one hour. One hour is always a good time to let this, um, to let this cook. Ah, there you are. Um, so um, you see I started um, cooking so now is the time when we can add a little bit of the spices I will start with the sugar about this amount I will move on with the salt maybe yeah, this amount also add a little bit of pepper and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty straightforward I'm sure you have seen the sauce before this recipe won't change I just want to highlight the simplicity of uh, preparing this dish. Let me also stir a little bit and perhaps it's also the time when we can um, add a little shot of white wine. And um, 
Yeah, my friends, so if you're wondering why I'm showing you around here with our swimming pants, it's very simple, it's a hot day and uh, I like feeling comfortable and uh, grabbing a little bit of um, this adult beverage and enjoying cooking. So, see you soon. Okay, my friends, so you see the sauce has been cooking for about 15 minutes. So I would say another 45 minutes, but the smell is already very, very good, very, very delicious. And um, rather at the end, we will then add these two cans of uh, tuna. And as you know, all my ingredients are strictly made in Italy. Of course, also this um, coriander. A little bit of it I will throw in now and the rest I will keep for the topping. Oh my god, so this is after 30 minutes of cooking and I think it's time for a little quality check to see how the sauce is doing. I will sacrifice my, myself for that. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Okay my friends, so you see the uh, farfalle pasta has been cooking for about 7 minutes. Total cooking time is 7 minutes. Meanwhile, we will now add the tonno into this uh, sugo for the final 5-6 minutes. Uh, it should not overcook, so I, this is the reason why I only add this at the very end uh, for the final minutes. And then we are ready to eat. Two cans will be enough for three people. There we go. Okay, so you see the pasta is cooked and the sauce is ready to get mixed. <laughs> Sorry, come on, woman. And um, yeah, steer a little bit and then prepare the plate. Oh wow, look at this. Farfalle pasta with tuna, peas, and a nice spicy tomato soup. Yeah, okay, my friends, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, down there in the description field. You'll find all the ingredients and uh, also down there on this side, if you want, you can subscribe to this channel. You can also leave a message. I'm happy to reply to any of your questions. Also, feel free to like, to share or whatever you want to do with this video. And uh, as usual, many more videos will come. And uh, buon appetito! Mm.